Well, I'm going to teach you guys how to clean a white bass. There's a lot of people that say they taste fishy tasting and they're not good table fare. I disagree totally. If you clean these things properly, you'll love them. You won't be able to tell the difference between them, walleyes, pike. That They've got very firm meat and they're very good. I'm going to give you a little demonstration here on how I do this. It kind of gills like you do a normal fish. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in along that backbone and we're just going to go right above the ribs. You know, most of the time, if I do a walleye with electric knife, I'd go all the way through the ribs and everything. We're going to leave the rib bones there. We're going to come down, lay down like this. We're going to come right across the top of those rib bones just a little bit right there. And we're going to leave that rib bone skin right there. Just like that. So we left all the belly meat here. And I leave that attached to the tail. Now what I'm going to do, instead of going straight down to the skin and going all the way through, I'm going to leave just a little bit of skin there. Just a nice little thin layer on the skin. Okay, see this right here? Most people go right down to the skin and this is what you get. That is the stuff that makes those critters taste bad. So I left that part of it on the skin and then you have your lateral line right here. This would be where the rib cage was. We're gonna cut right above that. Just like that and get rid of that little piece there. This is good pickling meat right here. If you want to pickle some fish, that's great pickling meat. Now look at that filet. There's none of that red that we, we shaved off here in the skin. And if you take the hose here and give this a nice little clean, you'll see it is beautiful white meat. And this, my friend, is very good eating fish right there. Okay, now we'll flip it over to the other side. Once again, right here, right behind the pectoral fin, just like you do normal fish. Come down along the backbone, we're gonna get that, you'll feel that knife tip just hit those rib, that rib cage in there, keep going. Once you get right behind the rib cage, right here typically, you can poke that knife through. And I like to leave it attached right here. You'll see why in a second. Come down, I hit that rib cage, get right at the top of that rib cage, I cut right down like this here. Right down the angle to this pin right here. Follow that through. And there we have it. See how I leave that attached? It makes it so much easier to skin so you don't have to sit there with your fingers. Get that knife going here and just leave a little thin layer of skin or meat on that skin. Right there. Right again, here's your lateral line. Lateral line here, you can see it right here. And I cut that right there. Just like that, like I said, that's good pickling meat right there, but look at how white that meat is. There's nothing wrong with that. That is very good table fare. All right, once again, see all the red that I left here right on the on the uh, skin. Watch how I, if I go all the way down, just think that would have been all attached to that filet, and that's where people get that, that taste that they don't like. Now, we're gonna give this a little spray off here. Show you how nice and they clean up. Now, when I get home, what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to take these and cut them in the chunks that I want for, for frying. What I'm going to do is put them in milk, put them all in a bowl with milk, and put two to four tablespoons of uh, uh, lemon juice in there, depending on how many fillets you got. Let them sit for two hours in there. That really, really helps the flavor. They're going to be nice and flaky white when you eat them. And then, uh, like I said, just put them in there for two hours. Use your favorite breading or bake them. And trust me, you'll love the taste of them.